Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and we all know it's no secret in the YouTube fitness community that I'm not exactly gifted in the arm genetics department compared to pretty much everyone else on YouTube fitness. And to make matters worse, I tore my bicep off the bone 11 years ago, and then it got the, after the surgery, it got infected, and I had an infection and an abscess inside the muscle after I tore it, and a whole host of problems. It really makes it difficult for me to build my arms. And because of that, because I have to work so hard because of all of that, to make my arms budge an inch, to gain fractions of an inch on my arms, I've had to learn a lot of secrets over the years to get these things to grow at all. And a lot of you are used to seeing these YouTubers who have amazing arm genetics. They've got fantastic insertions, full muscle bellies in their arms, and their arms grow no matter what silly, ignorant shit they do. <laughs> they can do whatever they want, and their arms just seem to grow and grow and grow. Most of you are going, well, it's not working for me. I'm trying what they're doing, and it's not working. So let me give you guys some tips for those of you who are maybe about as blessed in the arm department as I am. Here's some tips for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys some things with the dumbbells real quick. A lot of people get wrong, and this is stuff guys with great genetics can get away with all sorts of stuff. One of the first things you see guys do, they curl like this. They curl with the wrist up. Basically, when you do that and the wrist is up like that, you take tension off the bicep. You let the forearm flexors take part of the load. When that happens, you're turning it into a bit of a compound movement Biceps doing less work, it'll help build your forearms and not your biceps so much. You want to let your wrist trail behind it. See how I'm about a 10 degree behind? Let the wrist trail behind when you do curls. Let it trail behind. And this is something actually Arnold Schwarzenegger used to do, and it's something, it was one of his tips to everybody for building his amazing arms, even though he was very genetically gifted. One of the other things that guys do, they also do another thing that turns the curl into a compound movement. If you wanna do a big heavy compound movement for your biceps, go do some weighted chin-ups. You don't need to do dumbbells or barbells for that. That's it, they curl all the way up to here. See so guys curling to their face, but if you notice, that's the shoulders working. Your shoulder is flexing, you're working the traps, you're working the delts, but the bicep is completely taken out of the movement. Pretty much from here forward, there's no bicep movement anymore. So only bring them up enough to where the bicep is fully contracted at the top and then stop going up. There's no need to go higher than that. And again, if you're like me and you don't have really good lower insertions on your biceps, it is very important that you do the full movement. So you need to come all the way down at the bottom so that you get the full range of motion, stretch the bicep at the bottom, curl up till it's at peak contraction, then come back down. And this way you're working the muscle through the full range of motion and you're keeping tension on it. And those couple of little tips right there, those three little tips, if your arms are really lagging and you struggle with bicep development, don't have the best insertions, don't have the best muscle bellies in them, following those tips might be enough to help you start making gains again in your arms. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.